so in this video we're just going to focus on the legs and the kicks so no hand techniques at all today so we're going to start with just the lead leg so we're going to double some kicks up triple some kicks up um, have some different combos with the kicks work on the right height the accuracy the proper technique of a kick and go from there okay so start nice and simple off the lead leg maybe a kick or a leg that's a little bit neglected a lot of people like to throw kicks off the back leg creating a little bit more power um, so we're going to work on the lead leg to start with. So a nice simple front kick, boom, and then we're going to check in case we're getting kicked back. So we're going to snap the kick out and check away. Snap the kick out and check. So with that first um, front kick, we're going to go to the midsection. So facing this way, we're just going to bring the knee up to start with. Knee up, kick, knee up, and back down. The minute it lands, we're just going to block straight away. Kick, block. When we check or block, we're going to kick, when we throw the block we're not going to come up square because the leg that they're going to, or the leg kick that they might counter with is going to come round sweeping. So we want to meet that, we want to meet that target. So we're going to check out to the outside. So we're going to front kick, bounce it, check up. Body kick, check. Body kick, check. And like we did in the other videos before, when we check we want to try and have no gap between the elbow and the kneecap. Otherwise it's sort of pointless, but they can just kick through the gap. So kick, when you throw this block, let's make sure it's there covering everything. Kick, block. Again, kick, block. This way, kick, block. So midsection front kick or front teep, block. Snap it out, block. Okay, so another kick combo that works really well in K1 is to throw an inside lead leg kick, followed by a front teep or front snap kick. So just with boxing, if I double up on one side, it takes away from the rhythm that they may think is coming. So they might think a jab cross is coming, or left right is coming. Same with kicking, they might think I'm gonna throw a kick with the left, and then a kick with the right, but we're gonna come off of that rhythm. So nice and simple, we're gonna go inside leg, same leg, front kick to the body. So inside leg, inside leg kick, maybe we'll move their leg, or we'll make them think I'm going low again, Maybe we'll drop the hands and then we'll be able to open up into the body. So inside leg kick, front snap kick. This way, inside leg, snap. So I throw it sharp like a jab cross here, boom, boom. So just like we're throwing a jab cross sharp, one, two. And this way, inside snap. Inside snap. This way, inside snap. One more thing we could add on to that is the check in case they counter back. So inside leg, snap to the body, check up nice and high. Remember, no gap between the elbow and the knee. Inside leg kick, snap the kick, block. Inside, snap, block. And this way, inside, snap, block. So we're gonna work both legs now and two different heights. So just if we were maybe boxing and we throw a body shot to start with to create an opening to the head and then come over the top with a hook, we're going to do the same with the legs. So we're going to front kick to the body to try and draw the elbows in or get them to cover up thinking maybe another head shot or body shots come in and we're going to follow with a low leg kick and then back out to guard. So we're going to snap the body kick through and then follow with a leg kick. Snap the body kick, drop a leg kick. Body kick, leg kick. I can go all the way through with the leg kick and then block my way out like this and block up. Make sure I'm keeping that balance. So say I've missed, I still need to keep the balance on the way back out. So body kick, leg kick, all the way through and block out. Body kick, leg kick. Hands up, body, leg. Body, leg. If I want more power on the leg kick, I'll go body kick and step across the body. So if their body's there, step across center line and then drive the leg kick through. So body kick, step off, one move, leg kick. I can change the guard up as well when I throw that leg kick. So I can go kick, I can block normally here and throw the leg kick, or I can counter the balance by getting my lead hand across the front side of my face or the right side of my face, counter balance in me. So snap, step off, Leg kick, covers the face too. So this way, snap the kick out, leg kick. If I want to go through, kick, leg kick, block out. Kick, leg kick, block out. 
Remember, no space between elbow and the knee when you're blocking. This way, kick, leg kick. Snap kick, leg kick. All the way through, kick, leg kick. Spin out and block, back to guard. So keeping with the level changes, on the last technique we work midsection to low section. On this one we're gonna switch that and we're gonna go low section to start with, end with a midsection kick. So we're gonna make them worry about everything coming down low and finish it with a body kick. So, nice and simple, off the back leg, you're gonna stomp kick, so aim it just above the kneecap onto their lead leg, and then snap to the body with that front kick. Make sure that kick comes up, driving into the solar plexus or to the bladder. So, stomp, snap. With the kick, we can also attack, so we could stomp kick, land forwards, effectively southpaw, closing the gap and putting more weight into the kick, snap that front kick to the body. So I could stomp, step forward, snap kick. I'm back to guard, or I can stand where I was if they haven't moved. Stomp, land back, snap kick. But don't stomp and come square, and then try and throw your kick, as you might get countered as you're coming square there. So no feet together. So stomp, back, snap kick. So with any of these combinations that we're doing, obviously we can check afterwards. So we can go stomp, snap kick, bounce, check there. Just in case we get countered. Even at the chance we get counted, even if they don't throw a counter, it's good to just be there anyway. So stomp, snap, check. This way, just stomp, snap the kick out. Or attack, stomp, step through, front kick. Or standing where we are and checking, stomp, snap, check. And this way, stomp, back, snap kick. Or attack, stomp, step through, snap kick. Or stay where we are and check in, stomp, snap, and check. Stomp, snap kick. So low section, mid section. Okay, so another idea with the kicking drills is we could work on the same leg, so doubling up one leg and working different levels with the kicks. So that's what we're gonna throw on this one. So we're gonna go inside leg kick with the lead leg, bounce it straight down to an axe kick. So two level changes, but with the same leg. So again, trying to get them off that rhythm of the left-right idea. So inside leg kick, bounce it down, axe kick. So the inside leg effectively works as a feint or movement, trying to move their leg, or a little annoying inside leg kick, or create a bit of damage, really snap it through, and axe kick onto the face. So inside leg, axe kick. With both kicks, hands are high, inside leg, Axe kick, same this way. Inside leg, axe kick. Good. Inside, axe. This way. Inside, axe. Good. Inside, axe. So with that combo again, we can check off it. So with this lead leg check. So inside leg kick, down. Axe kick, down. Check, no gap. So we're going one, two, three. Remember to turn the knee out to meet the kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. So on this combo, we're gonna start high section to draw the hands up and make them worry about the head shot. So we're gonna lead with axe kick. So landing on the head or kicking to the guard, through the face, on the shoulder, anywhere, just creating a reaction. With any leg, we could then fire a midsection kick, a low section kick, front teeth, round kick, we could come back up. So we're gonna go axe kick, and off the back leg, just a low snapping round kick to the leg. So lead leg, axe through the face, low leg kick, back to guard. Same again, we could check off it, so we could go axe, low leg, check straight away. So high section, draw the guard up, into the legs, and check. Really driving through that leg kick. So axe kick, draw the guard up, make them panic, low leg kick, check away. Axe, Low leg, and check. So this way, hands are staying up. So axe kick through the face, low leg. Back to guard, and then we can check away. Axe, low leg. Again this way. Axe, low leg. Check out. So another thing that we can do with the kicks is we can disguise where we want it to go. So we can faint one level and come over the top or faint up and go down low. Exactly the same as if we was um, sparring K1 or we could faint like a leg kick by moving the leg 
just to open up some punches to the face or if we were just boxing and we wanted to open up the body we could faint up high with some head movement or faint that we're going to throw a jab to drop it into the body so we're going to do the exact same with this kick so off the back leg we're going to faint the front kick but really we're going to come up to the face with a ram kick so it's commonly known as a question mark kick so you've got to really make and believe that that front snap kick is coming through to the body or coming just above the leg and then finishing to the face. You want to make and believe it so hard that they cover the body kick or cover the low leg kick, start checking the kick and then finish to the face. So you're going to feint this front but you're going to push it through and then end with a head kick. So it comes from the back leg, straight through and then head kick and then back to guard. So feint, head kick and back to guard. Looking at the target, hands high. Faint head kick. Faint head kick. One more time. Faint head kick. Back to guard. Okay, so on this last little kick combo, we're going to keep the same idea as we did the last one where we're fainting with a front kick to the body, but we're going to faint with a low leg kick or we're going to land the low leg kick, but to come over the top to a head kick. So we can snap it in and kick above the thigh and then come to the face, or we can just touch, come over the top, or faint low and come to the head kick. So exactly the same idea as the last one. We're fainting low, or we're gonna kick low and use that momentum to come over the top or miss and come to the head. So low leg, high leg, round kick. Low round kick, high round kick, or low turning kick, high turning kick. Sometimes you might lose that balance and have to go all the way through, and make sure you're blocking out again. So I'll do one where we're bringing it back and I'll do a couple where we're spinning through. So low leg, head kick. And then here, low head kick. Low head kick. So going all the way through, low head kick, block out. Low head kick, block out. Staying facing forwards, low head kick. Back on, all the way through, low head kick, block out.